Welcome to the fifth section of our course. In this section, we'll focus on Docker and Kubernetes security. Firstly, we'll learn how can we leverage union file system of layers for better security. So we'll learn about layers encapsulation and how we can leverage the fact for making layers better. Then we'll create secure Docker images that could be used by Kubernetes engine. In the video number three, we will learn about authentication on, of Kubernetes cluster. And finally, we will do a configuration for Kubernetes client to access remote clusters. So this is a first video in which we'll be leveraging Union file system of layers for better security. So we'll create Docker file with multiple layers. Then we'll understand what is inside every layer. And finally, we'll create container based on that Docker file. So let's go to the CLI. So in section five, you have union file system layers file. So let's see what's inside of it. So we can see that we will build image based on a root directory. It means that we need to look up for the Docker file that is present in this directory. So let's open the Docker file. So let's see what layers do we have. So firstly, we are creating the layer from node argon. So we will be starting Node.js that is based on this specific Docker image. Then we are doing some logic at top of it. So we are creating new directory inside of it that will be under user source application. We'll set work directory to that path. So it means that everything that we will be doing from this point now on will be done in the context of this directory. Next step will be to install application dependencies. So we are copying the package.json to that directory. We'll learn and see what's inside of it in a moment. And we are running npm install. npm install will pick the package.json and that will be all. What's important to note here that running will create yet another layer. Finally, we are copying everything from this current directory and we are particularly interested in the JavaScript file if there is any present to the application and we are exposing this container port as a 8080. Finally, we are running npm start that will start the application running. So once we have that, we can do docker build t. It means that it will create a docker image with the express web name and use the docker file that is created. What's important is a debug log that we see right now. So we can see that we have eight steps in total and we have some steps that are involving using cache. This is important because it means that this layer was cached before. So if you will reply that step, you will see that more things are cached. Why it is important from the security perspective? It is important because everything that is inside of this step and before will be cached. So it means that it will be easy retrievable by potential attacker. So if you are creating an image from multiple layers, you need to assure that every layer that you are using and that you are creating is secure. You should not put any versatile information in it because they will be cached by the Docker installation. So it is not easy to remove when you are doing and using that specific setting.